My name is Ian Cheney. I'm one of the co-creators and co-producers of King Corn, which is a feature documentary film about the story of my best friend Kurt Ellis and me as we move to a little town in Iowa where both of our great-grandfathers just grew up, coincidentally, and as we plant and grow a, an acre of corn and follow it into the food system as it becomes feed for industrially fed cattle and becomes the uh, raw material for high fructose corn syrup. And the film explores the health implications of creating year after year an enormous crop of uh, subsidized, uh, overproduced, cheap corn. We started in to make the film uh, really just after finishing college where we'd become more and more active in trying to bring local foods to our campus and try to understand you know, where real food was coming from and trying to improve the food in our dining halls. But we found in college, this was in Connecticut on the East Coast, that we couldn't really figure out where most of the stuff in our dining hall was coming from. The sodas, the, the beef, the crackers and cookies, and chips, any, any processed food. You know, that wasn't coming from a nearby apple orchard in Connecticut. And so when we graduated from college, we teamed up with Kurt's cousin Aaron, a filmmaker, and the three of us moved to Iowa to make this film. Uh, the film has been released in theaters this fall, this past fall, um, was shown in over 50 cities, and uh, premiered at the South by Southwest Film Festival. Uh, and it's been a, been a heck of a fun time getting the film out into the world. And, uh, and we tried to make a film that people like us and people in our generation would enjoy watching. Um, tried, to, tried to bring some humor uh, and respect to the piece um, in a way that I, I hope people will enjoy. Uh, well, I've, I've just spoken to a handful of folks, but uh, they've all been really charming, and uh, I think uh, the film has been really well received. It was a, it was a really full house, uh, which I was honored to see. And from what I've seen so far, uh, there is on Maui a, a really thriving and growing local food culture. Um, people like uh, Vincent Mina, who grows some be beautiful sunflower sprouts that I've been lucky enough to taste, and others who are, um, on all different scales, uh, making really unique and um, dedicated efforts to think outside of the kingdom of corn. And in that sense, I think a film like this resonates with people because this is the stuff we all see in our grocery stores. Aisle after aisle, after aisle is products sweetened with high fructose corn syrup and meats fattened on corn in industrial factory settings. And um, in a beautiful place like this, I think it only makes sense that people are asking, how can, we, how can we think outside of the kingdom of corn and create food that is produced sustainably, produced ethically, and produced in a way that really benefits uh, the people who eat it. This is my first time in Maui. I'm having a great time. One of the things I've noticed is uh, the beautiful clear skies and uh, clear dark skies, beautiful stars, and uh, I think something like that really fosters a, a connection with the natural environment um, that I can see in the and the way people uh, treat the environment here and, and treat each other. Uh, it seems like a wonderful place to live. I'm coming from South Boston, which is also a wonderful place to live, but for very different reasons. <laughs> it's America's best kept secret. We don't think of what we're putting into our system. We don't really think about it. Or beef. Breads, sodas, chicken, french fries, spaghetti sauces, biscuits and with gravy. Everything on your plate is corn. When you're good at something, we ought to be encouraging it. We're good at growing corn, and we're now selling it all around the world. What is this here? That's excess corn. That's what couldn't fit in that huge thing. That's right. Huh. I'm moving from Boston to Iowa. Could I have a big and tasty sandwich? I used to weigh over 300 pounds. Lots of corn means the raw material for an overweight society. Hello, carbs. This is 
all that corn goes somewhere. And in fact, a lot of it's going on to our bodies. Whoa. We aren't growing quality. We're growing crap. <laughs> Aloha, my name is Ian Cheney, uh, co-creator of King Corn, and you're watching MauiToday.tv. Yeah.